Hello, today I'm going to make a review on uh, QPU cuboids. Um, one of them is the 3x3x4 and the other is the 3x3x7. That was my soldering iron. 3x3x7. I'm going to start with 3x3x4. Um, the 3x3x4, when I unboxed it, was didn't turn good and it locks up a lot. But once you take it apart, and once you take it apart and then lubricate it with some silicone, which I had to take it completely apart. But if you have Jigaloo, you can just spray it and turn it around fast and it will lubricate it very well. But once you lubricate it, it turns great. It cuts corners actually pretty good for a cuboid. We almost can cut half. So I think this is like the greatest cutting corner cube ever I have. I mean, it can almost cut that much. Oh, it can. And they are um, center caps on each one. Let me put them back in. And I'm going to show you a little bit of the mechanism inside. Pieces look like a regular edge. Let me get an edge. There we go. Pieces look like a regular edge, just extended a little bit. Inner pieces, extended corners, more extended corners. I'm gonna actually find a corner. Here's a corner compared to this corner. If you just cut this off, then it'll just be like this corner. And then these is little pieces. Hold on to. Then, then I gotta take out this part. Same thing. Remove all my pieces right here. Oh, you gotta take out this piece first, then these two. Now how the mechanism works is it's like a three by three. See, it's just extended. I don't want to take the whole thing apart. It's like an extended core on the top. And the way it doesn't get out of alignment is it has these little things. Unlike the V-Cube 6, it can get out of alignment, but these are solid. The only reason why I can have it is because it can only move like one axis at a time. And that's exactly what it does. Let's see if I can turn this. Um, let's see if I can turn this. I can turn it a little bit like that, but it hangs on to the pieces, which is good. And then you can turn it. When you turn it once, you can't move any of the others. Oh, sorry. When you turn it once, you can't move any of the others. See? Obviously. Or I'll pop this out. So you only can turn it twice. And then you just keep moving forward. Like that. So I'm going to put this back if I can. Oh. There we go. And that's the 3 by 3 by 4 I'm going to put it back relatively fast so just put that back in and I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna talk for the rest of the time until I get to 3x3x7 three three so and So that is a 3x3x4, three by three by and I recommend buying this, um, and also you have to do perfect tensioning. It's not perfect when you get it. Like I had to perfect tension this one, and it's still not perfect. So that is a 3x3x4. Three by three by now onto the 3x3x7. Three by three by now this one was a little bit tough to actually solve, unlike the 3x3x4. Three by three by I had a, I didn't like 
cheat or anything. I actually figured out myself how to solve this, how to solve this one, because you solve it the same way, but it took a lot, lot more perspective I had to do. And three by three by four is very flexible. It turns terrible when you get it, obviously same thing. Lubricate it, take the whole thing apart and lubricate it. It has a three by three by three core, just these little pieces, which count as a three by three, so. And obviously, you can turn these little layers. First turn, right here. First turn, it drags on the pieces. Second turn, it's okay, and third turn's my favorite. Actually, first turn's my favorite, it just sounds cool. And now, they have caps. I don't want to take them out, my fingernails are... I don't want to take them out, but they have caps. Um, there we go. Little uh, edge. It's actually rounded. It's not flat like this one. It's rounded edge. Pretty interesting. And little corners. It's like a regular corner. Where is it? Oh. Well, anyways, it's like a regular corner. I'm going to put it back before I drop any more pieces. So I don't want to take the whole thing back. Put the whole thing back together again. There we go. Now I have to put this back together because I dropped it. There we go. And just pop this edge back in. And this cube, it's pretty hard to solve, actually. Sometimes it's actually pretty hard to solve. Yeah, you have to deal with parity. Well, very short parity, not that big of a parity. But it's still pretty hard if you can mess up. Because if you mess up on, let's say, when you're solving this layer, it ruins everything, and you have to start over. And when you scramble it up, Let's say all the little edges are messed up. You have to solve it like a 3x3 three three first, obviously. So, let me make a quick solve. Let's see. Blue, red. Sorry, I need. Here, let me zoom out a little bit. Um. So I'm going to solve this really quickly, like I said. I'm just going to put it in the corner instead of doing F12. And once you're done solving this, this is part of the process of solving it. You have to turn, and you can't, you're allowed to turn these little edges. Oh, wrong one. Now I'm just going to do some PLL or OLL. Ah. Yeah, so that's the 3x3x7. Three by three by um, I highly recommend buying it, and I hope you uh, rate, comment, and subscribe on my videos. Thank you for watching.